Have you ever wondered how the bright moon was created? No matter of the location, people believed in various myths. For example, in Asia, there was a hair on the moon. In the West, people thought there was a man in the moon. In a children's storybook, the moon was made of cheese. Even though I don't get how they came up with these ideas, their imagination is pretty impressive. So, how was the moon actually created? In recent days, there are three powerful hypotheses. The first hypothesis is the giant impact theory. It was first suggested in 1898 by George Darwin, the son of Charles Darwin. This is the most prevailing theory supported by the scientific community. According to this theory, the moon was created by a collision. The early universe or the solar system was very violent and unstable. The Earth was formed with a leftover cloud of dust and gas, which were orbiting around the sun. There were a lot of incomplete planet-like bodies created, which couldn't be like the Earth. Among those massive bodies, one of the Mars-sized gigantic body called Theia crashed into the proto-Earth. It threw away all the vaporized chunks of the young planet's crust. After the collision, the gravity gathered the lighter element particles from the crust near the undestroyed Theia's core. Then it formed the moon and centered near Earth's ecliptic plane, where the moon orbits today. The second theory is the co-formation theory. This theory basically claims that the moon was formed at the same time as the Earth. During the early solar system, the gravity gathered materials together to form the moon at the same time as the gravity united particles to form the Earth. This explains why the moon and the Earth are mostly made of the same materials, and the moon is at the present location. However, the moon is less dense than the Earth. Which wouldn't be the case if both of them started with the same heavy elements at the core. The last theory is the Kepler theory. It describes that the rocky body, which was formed elsewhere in the solar system, have been drawn into the orbit around the Earth and got captured. Imagine the Earth pulling the Moon as a strong magnet pulling up a small paperclip. This typically happened to the other moons in the solar system, such as Martian moons of Phobos and Deimos. Though the other moons that were formed in this way were usually oddly shaped like a potato, not spherical like our moon. Furthermore, our moon's orbit is at five degrees, which is on the ecliptic orbit of the parent planet, the Earth. But those oddly shaped moons usually don't match up with the parent planet's orbit. To sum up, the most plausible theory is the giant impact theory so far. However, there are proofs that support this theory. It isn't 100% sure. Anyway, it is just interesting to learn about these awesome theories that scientists have studied. The end.